Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because I am introducing to you guys the digital format of the Book Companion Journal, the Book Companion Journal Nonfiction Edition, and the Super Manifesting Journal. So this is going to be a three-part video because I am going to be doing a tutorial on each of the journals on how to use it if you want to work with them on your iPad or whatever digital format you use. So I wanted to really dedicate one video um, per journal. So it's going to be three videos. I'm probably going to post them all in the same day. I haven't decided, but what I am really excited to announce is that if you are interested in purchasing the digital format of the journals, there's a huge sale happening this week, starting on Thanksgiving, November 25th. Each journal is going to be available for only $10 each. And if you get all three journals, you can get them for $25. So if you are watching this video years later or weeks later or months later, I'm afraid that the sale has ended because it's going to be from November 25th through November 28th. And it's an incredible, incredible sale. As you guys know, the journals are normally in paperback. So I, this is the first time that I am releasing them in digital form. So I'm really excited about that. But on Amazon, each of the journals, these two go for $19.99. And this one is going for $40. And that is not my doing. That is the price, the minimum price that I am allowed to put from, um, I can't even think now, from Amazon. So that is the price of the paperbacks. If you are interested, you can, per if you want the paperbacks, I would love for you to get them because I that's how I've been using them, you guys know. So I love that. So without further ado, let's jump onto the tutorial on how to use the journals in digital format. And we're going to start off with the first one, which is my book companion journal. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with my iPad right here. And if you purchase all three journals from me, you are going to get an email. You're going to get an email no matter what, but I just wanted to show you the way it looks if you get all three journals. If you only get one, you're going to get one email with one download. I am using my iPad and I am using GoodNotes to work within. If you don't have an app that you can work within PDFs, then the PDF is not going to work. Well, it's going to work, but you're not going to be able to write in it. So the whole point is that you have an app that you can work within your program so that you can open a PDF. So we're going to go to my book companion journal. It's going to say congratulations. You click on the photo and then you go here to the little icon on top. Oops. <laughs> Delete. And you're going to open in GoodNotes. I already have another one in there. Obviously I was working within it. So we're going to import it as a new document. Import to do document and it's going to open. And this is the way your document is going to look. Oops, let's go back up here. GoodNotes is really cool and it's only like uh, $9.99 and it was well, well worth it because I absolutely love using it. So this is the way the journal is going to look once you get it. If you hit that little icon up here, you get a full view of all the pages that you are able to now work within. I am not showing you how to use GoodNotes. I am not an expert on GoodNotes. I just started using it and I really enjoy it and love it, but I'm using it for fun. But I am going to start using it to document a few things within the journal because I did find that I really, really enjoy using the digital form. So let me just show you a couple little things within the journal. Let's go back here and let's start off with the first page, which is, which is the memory journal for, we're going to, is it on my writing yet or not yet? You're going to hit this little icon up there for you to start writing. You can go here and select whatever color you want. I'm just gonna use pink just for fun. And then I'm going to start writing. So it says the title of the book. I'm just going to pick one of my last books. And then obviously I am the author. You can also type. You don't have to. You can go here and select a 
the font that you want and you can actually write type instead of write but I actually prefer writing that's the whole point of this journal for me it's actually writing and I don't get to lose that from paperback to digital I still get to write in it so that's something that I really really like about using the pen and the writing feature then we can go back here and let's say I want to add some photos because it's one of my favorite things about the journal and documenting my writing journey is being able to not only write in it but also add my photos and my memories so let's go here to that picture icon and then you can scroll through until you find pictures that you want and let's see I'm just gonna pick one and let's say this is the one I want to remember let's say I'm, go I'm documenting perhaps the digital release of the journals. Maybe I'll go ahead and write here something like today's date is, let's pretend it's the 25th already. And then I can say released digital journals. And if you are familiar with GoodNotes, then you probably know a ton of things that you can do with this. Unfortunately, I am not a digital expert, but I did want to give you guys the option to put it in, to use the journals in a digital format if that is something that you really enjoy. So there you go. You don't lose anything as far as remembering things by adding, by keeping it in digital format as you would with the paperback. The, one of my favorite features, like I said, is adding pictures and just making like this page my own. So if that's something that you really are looking forward to from the journal and you're like, no, I'm gonna lose that feature if I have it digital, as you can see, you're not going to lose it. Obviously, I'm just doodling here, but you could do whatever you want. Another part page that I really like is going in here and going to the coloring pages which i totally love i used this a lot while i was in miami i because i had been working on it since then i love being able to just color and just relax and it really relaxes me i don't know what it is about coloring digitally that is really like soothing for me i love the way it feels on the screen so that is something that you probably will enjoy if it's you find it as relaxing as I do. You can pick whatever color you want. Then go back and color and just, you know, get your mind off of it and maybe think about your story while you're doodling. So that is something that I really, really enjoy. Then let's go back to maybe one of the prompt pages. Let's see. Uh, we'll go back to the tracking ones in a minute. But if you obviously... Here are, let's, right here. So here are first chapter notes. Let's make it back to regular size. First chapter notes. And let's say you have some notes you want to add. And maybe you say, add more dialogue to chapter three, let's say. Then you can add, you know, more description to chapter one. So as you can see, it's very easy to write with. Let's go back to another page. Let's go back to maybe the triggers page. What books inspire me to write? You can change the color. Remember, you can write in whatever color you want. And now let's say what books inspire me to write I can say you know romance self-help um miss crimes let's just say crime <laughs> whatever crime whatever inspires you you know or you can actually name the books that inspire you to write my point is here is that you can actually write in it and it's just as relaxing and just as inspiring as the paperback as you know we have word counts here for you to track your word counts so let's say you were wrote a thousand words here and a thousand words here now you've written 
2,000, then you write another 2,000, now you've written, another 1,000, I mean, now you've written 3,000, and at the end of the week, you can say, you know, 3,000, you're tracking your, it's your monthly tracker for your words. So yeah, that is the tutorial on how to use and how flexible it is and how fun it is to use my book companion journal. Remember that you can buy the journal now for only $10, the digital format, or you can get all three for $25. If you love it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your writerly friends so they don't miss out on this incredible deal. And I'll see you guys in the next video with the next tutorial, my book companion journal, nonfiction edition.